Yo, what's up guys, Sitchiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with my most used deck in Clash Royale League. As you guys can see, if I go to Tournament Hub, then go to my page, it will show some stats. Like, for example, your most used deck, and it is going to be this Royal Giant deck with the Evil Recruits. In my opinion, this deck is very easy to use, but at the same time, very, very strong. I used it a total times of four times, I won three times, so I have a win rate of 75%. And we're going to try to get some nice W's in today's video, but I'm going to be playing in the Double Evolution Tournament. There's only 18 hours left. I'm still undefeated, but they still need a lot of wins to be able to yeah, get close to the top of the leaderboard. So let's hop into the first match right away, see if we can get some nice W's. And hopefully uh, yeah, later today, we'll be able to continue playing and maybe get a nice global tournament finish. Comment down below, what is your best global tournament finish? I'm actually curious to see if you guys yeah, have, for example, I don't know, let's say a top 100, top 1000, top I don't know how much. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious um, yeah, to know your best global tournament finish. Okay, let's go Phoenix here. Let's then go with Barbell. Looks like he is going to go with his ability. I don't really think we need to um, yeah, defend it, to be honest. Phoenix is going to get one shot. And then now the Little Prince is one shot. So usually what I try to do with this deck is play kind of patient. Play it like um, yeah, a recruits deck without the Royal Giant at the start. And then afterwards try to kind of catch them off guard with a Royal Giant. Or if I see that, for example, they use very important cards... Against the Royal Giant, that is when I go um, yeah, with the Royal Giant. Oh, okay, I'm not sure if I should have cycled the Fisherman here, to be honest. I think it should be fine because the Dagger Dashes with the E-Spirit here is going to deal a lot of damage to the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, where it doesn't get any damage. And then, I mean, having the Fisherman there on the field, knowing that he just used the Mini P.E.K.K.A., I think it's a decent situation to go with Royal Giant. I think, oh, looks like he does have P.E.K.K.A. Okay, I wasn't expecting P.E.K.K.A. plus Mini P.E.K.K.A. in the same deck. Looks like it's going to be some, yeah, P.E.K.K.A. maybe Bridgeman deck. I guess we, we just gotta go with a Phoenix and then hopefully get the Royal Recruits down on time. Please tell me that we get enough Elixir. Please, please, please. Okay, oh my god. Yeah, wait, did it get a shot? Okay, looks like it did get one shot on top of the tower. So the Recruits were not on time. I'm gonna go with a Barbell here as well to make sure that we kill the rear, um, the Arches plus the Little Prince. And then Recruits on the left side will be able to get a little bit of damage. I mean, looking at the situation of the game, I guess it's not the, the worst situation we could have been in. Rides the Tower did take a lot of damage. But at the same time, we also dealt with a lot of damage to his Rise of Tower. So I guess it's, yeah, not the worst situation. And I think the recruits are definitely going to get a lot of value. Knowing that he has both the Mini P.E.K.K.A. plus the P.E.K.K.A. And of course, yeah, the recruits are really good against both of them. Okay, so let's go with Mother Witch left side. I mainly went with the Mother Witch on the left side just to make sure I don't give him any poison value. Or in this case, Fireball value. Just, uh, yeah, making sure that we divide the damage. And then here I'm actually going to go with recruits. Kind of up high. If he goes with P.E.K.K.A. somewhere, I can even go with Royal Giant kind of um, yeah, aggressively. In this case, I'm just going to go with Royal Giant right side. And I think... Wait, what? Okay, my man has P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight. And... Okay, I'm I'm really confused right now, guys. Um, what is going on? Why does he have P.E.K.K.A., Mini P.E.K.K.A., Mega Knight? All of those cards in one deck. Okay, I'm going to go Mother Witch now. I'm kind of afraid, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, I guess I'm going to go with Recruits here on the right side and then go with Phoenix as well just to make sure we have enough DPS to be able to take care of the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. is actually decently good against the Recruits because it does two-shot it. And then here I think I'm just going to go with Royal Giant and I think this should be, yeah, I mean this should definitely be a good game. Um, I think, maybe, I mean the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is decently good against the Royal Giant though. Yeah, Royal Giant isn't able to get damage. Uh, damage. I thought after he spent the Fireball plus the arrows like that. He would have been able to yeah, get way more damage, but the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is actually insanely good against the Royal Giant. So, not quite over yet, but at the same time, I think we're definitely in a good situation. As long as we don't make um, a huge mistake, this should be our game. Okay, let's go Phoenix towards the right side. Let's then go with Fisherman here as well. Let's prepare the Fireball. I think I'm going to go Fireball on top of the Little Prince. Hopefully, the Mother Witch, there you go, is able to hit the Little Prince. And then this way, we get a little bit of chip damage. With, um, with the one Royal Hawk. Okay, let's go with Recruits. Let's then go with a Mother Witch. We do need to watch out because, oh my god, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the P.E.K.K.A. are actually destroying our Recruits. Let's go with Barbara here as well. Mother Witch in the meantime is going to distract the yeah, the Mama P.E.K.K.A. And then here the Mama P.E.K.K.A. is not able to get any more damage. So, decent situation. I am kind of afraid still. I don't know, like his deck is just way too crazy for me. Um, but I think this should be able to get a lot of damage. Let's go with a Fisherman here last second. Hopefully the Royal Giant is able to, yeah, I was about to say that. Look onto the tower for at least one shot. I'm going to go with Recruits here as well. And then I'm going to go with a Phoenix. Just to make sure we actually DPS down this unit. Because I don't want to take yeah, any any damage there. Okay, let's go with E-Spirit here as well. Let's then go with a Fisherman. And we actually cycle back to Recruits. So as you guys can see, even though this deck is kind of um, yeah, heavy, it's kind of expensive. You do have a decent cycle. Especially whenever you yeah, hit double or triple elixir. This deck is very nice. Okay, I'm going to go Fireball. Great Fireball there. Actually able to kill the Archers. Kill the Little Prince. 
And at this point, we just need to go with Royal Giant. I don't know why we're struggling so much to beat this guy with Mini Pekka Pekka, um, Mega Knight. Like, this deck is definitely a mid-letter deck. But I guess he does have a yeah, decent matchup here against the Royal Giant. Okay, let's go with Fisherman here in the middle. Let's then afterwards go with some Recruits. And at this point, yeah, there's no time left for him. He's not really able to yeah, deal any damage anymore. He doesn't really even have a win condition. Like, his win condition is just making a huge push with, like, Pekka, Mega Knight, Mini Pekka... I don't know what this deck was, but we did end up getting the W, so that's the most important part. Especially in these type of tournaments, guys. I don't know if you still have your lives, but I think it's definitely important to um, yeah, be careful. Especially in the first couple of wins, because you're always going to face some kind of off-meta deck, some kind of like mid layer deck. And then you always need to yeah, be careful, as I said. So, hoping you do the second match. Let's give it a good luck. Let's see what this guy's going to be running. As I also said before, in game number one... Very important, if you're going to play this deck, this deck works, by the way, for ladder, for challenges. In this case, I'm playing the Double Evolution Tournament because I yeah, want to try and push up. So I was like, okay, why not play it in today's video as well? Um, but we also could have played it on ladder. We also could have played it in a Grand Challenge, Classic Challenge, whatever you want. This deck is going to work for sure um, Yeah, in either of them. Okay, so looks like his Mother Witch, Little Prince. It's going to be interesting. I think I'm going to go Fisherman here to start pulling those Royal Hawks. Afterwards, should be able to pull um the little prince as well it looks like oh he goes with pekka right away okay we need to try and cycle towards our recruits guys that's gonna be uh yeah definitely key here because if not i won't be able to the de de yeah defend the pekka oh my god this is gonna be a lot of damage um we need to go with recruits like this and then just pray that it doesn't uh yeah take the tower but i think okay looks like it is, it is gonna take the tower good thing for us is that now the counter push i think should also be able to deal a lot of damage and i'm gonna prepare the royal giant as soon as i can Okay, I'm gonna go Fireball here right away to make sure that we kill the Mother Witch. Afterwards, the recruits hopefully tank for the egg, hopefully revives the Phoenix, and then we still should be able to get a decent amount of damage. I mean, I think we should be... A, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go Royal Giant as soon as I can on the right side. He definitely shouldn't have that much Elixir after spending Little Prince, after spending Ghost. So even though it's a really bad situation, I do think that this Royal Giant should be able to get a good amount of damage to the point where this matchup is still gonna be winnable. So, kind of a um, yeah, bad start. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with the recruits that aggressively. He did a good job at taking advantage that we still didn't have the recruits in cycle. I was like, okay, let's try to cycle back to the recruits. But, of course, we weren't able to, as you guys just saw. But the good thing is that we got a lot of damage back on the right side. So, I guess not the worst situation. Definitely not the best either. But I still um, get belief. Okay, let's go Phoenix here. Let's then we go with the E-Spirit. Let's prepare. I think the Royal Recruits, but if he doesn't go... Okay, I'm still going to go Royal Recruits for sure here. And then afterwards, I'm just going to prepare the Barbell just in case he protects it. But I think this should be able to take care of it. Or yeah, let's go Barbell for sure here. After going uh, Arrows plus the Ghost as well. Okay, so we know that he has Pekka. But I don't really want to go with Royal Giant at the bridge and then try to like prediction, for example, Fisherman. I want to try to play a little bit more patient. Try to get the Recruits on the field first. And then afterwards, try to go with the, um, with the RG. Okay, let's go E-Spirit here, let's then go with Recruits, let's then go with a Barbell, and this is looking like a very nice counter push to now go with the Royal Giant. I don't think he will be able to defend this, to be honest. I mean, he does have the P.E.K.K.A., I think we can go with Fisherman to try and pull it away. If he does go with the P.E.K.K.A., there you go, nice Fisherman, and then this should be able to uh, yeah, go down quite fastly because we still have the Recruit, we still have the Phoenix. So, very nice situation, slowly but, shirking, uh, slowly but surely, I can't even talk right now, making a comeback here. Okay, let's go Fireball. Very nice Fireball hitting the Mother Witch plus the Little Prince. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. Play with Patient. We don't need to rush, especially now in the two tower situation. I think we should be, uh, yeah, fine actually. Okay, let's go Recruits here. Let's see what he's gonna do. If he goes with Ability, we can just go with Barbell. If not, I'm just gonna, yeah, leave this to be honest. Okay, let's go with Mother Witch here as well. And then I kind of want to go, nice, let's go Barbell. And I'm gonna go with Royal Giant in the middle. I don't think he's gonna expect it to be honest. And then the Barbell will be able to take care of the Mother Witch. If he goes with Pekka, it's kind of late. Royal Giant is still going to get a lot of damage. And the good thing of this situation is that the Pekka is going to go towards the left side. Where he, of course, doesn't really want to um, get something going. But we still need to watch out. The Pekka, of course, is always scary. So at the same time, we cannot let it uh, yet be like that. Okay, let's go with Fisherman here. Let's then go with Recruits. I'm going to go with Barbell as well. We need to be careful with the potential. I was about to say that. Evil Bomber. So very nice Barbell. Able to catch everything. And this is definitely going to be a good game, guys. Even though we had a really bad start to this game um, with this Royal Giant here in the, uh, in the pocket, I think this should be a good game to be honest. Okay, let's go Fireball as well. Fireball wasn't really even necessary because the Baby Phoenix is able to take care of the Mother Witch and it's going to be another W. So very nice comeback. That was kind of scary, not going to lie. In the first um, yeah, minute of the game, I think it was, he took down our tower, but then afterwards we were able to 
make a comeback very important guys in those type of situations don't stress don't get um, yeah, negative don't tilt i know a lot of people in those type of situations would have said oh my god uh yeah i lost the game anything just make sure you yeah play chill and then afterwards you should be able to get a nice comeback going Okay, so let's go with recruits here. Looks like he does go with Goblin Joe. That's why I waited a little bit with the Barbell. And I think it's just going to be a typical Goblin Joe cycle deck. We also uploaded a Goblin Joe cycle deck yesterday. Um, yesterday we played with the Mighty Miner though. So it's not going to be the same version as we played. But it's definitely going to be some kind of uh, drill cycle deck. Okay, let's go Fisherman right away. Let's see what he's going to do. Looks like we are able to pull the Little Prince. So that's nice, I guess. And then we can prepare. I think we can cycle back to a Phoenix. Or maybe just leave it like that and then go with like E-Spirit plus maybe a Mother Witch last second. Not sure if it's necessary, but I guess it's fine because then afterwards we also distract the Ghost with the Royal Hawk. And then we should be able to um, yeah, take care of it decently well. Let's go with a Barbell just to make sure we don't take too much damage. And then here I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, let's go with Recruits as well. He does have the Evil Bomber. That's kind of scary. Not sure if I should Prediction Evil Bomber with a Fisherman. Or just leave it and then maybe save up for a potential Royal Giant. Okay, looks like he goes with Little Prince. Um, just gonna leave it for now like this and then see what he's gonna do. Okay, looks like he goes with ability. That's a nice ability by him. We are able to get a little bit of damage on left side. He even uses the zap. Okay, he spent a lot of elixir. I feel like he spent quite a lot of elixir. Um, thinking that we countered the um, yeah, drill with recruits. He spent ability plus little prince, which is sick, plus a zap as well. So he spent a lot of elixir there, to be honest. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I would like to try and distract the ghost towards the left side lane. I don't really wanna yeah, take more damage. On the right side and i think we can just even tank it with the royal giant here at the bridge tower plus the phoenix is gonna um, destroy it quite fast oh he has inferno tower okay um i mean that's gonna be very rough guys i wasn't expecting inferno tower inferno tower one of the best cards against the royal giant especially when you yeah run it with fireball okay nice time barbell should be able to clean up everything quite easily we are gonna take a little bit of chip damage but in those situations um, yeah, it's better to take a bit of damage and then afterwards clean up everything without taking too much damage. Okay, let's go Phoenix here. Let's then have the Fisherman ready. I think I'm gonna go... Okay, let's go Fisherman now and then I'm gonna go Mother Witch here in the middle as well. Okay, Mother Witch is able to yeah, create a Royal Hawk. Hopefully get some damage going on top of the Inferno Tower and then now go with Royal Giant. I'm actually gonna switch lanes mainly because the... Um, okay, nice. Let's go Barbell. Mainly because we had the counter push on the right side and then of course the Mother Witch plus everything there. We'll be able to maybe get some value or damage on top of the right side tower. Okay, we actually got more damage on the right side now. It's thanks to, yeah, that push. And then here we can go with recruit. So is his only spell Zep, by the way? I think if his only spell Zep, we should be able to, yeah, win this matchup. Just stacking a lot of troops, stacking the Mother Witch, stacking the, the Phoenix and stuff like that. And then just kind of overwhelm him at some point. Okay, let's go. Oh, he does have poison as well. Okay, so he does have poison. I was thinking that he only has Zep, but looks like he does have Poison. Let's go with uh, E-Spirit towards the right side. Then I'm going to go Phoenix. E-Spirit should be able to jump on top of the tower. So that's at least a little bit of chip damage. And then here we can prepare, I think, again, another set of recruits. And then I'm going to go Mother Witch here as well to maybe create some Royal Hawks. I mean, okay, even though it's only one, I guess it's fine. Uh, he's still going to have to defend it with something. Nice. Look at the left side. Mother Witch is going to lock onto the tower. There's going to be a decent amount of damage. This matchup is, yeah, looking really rough. But we did get a lot of damage with the Mother Witch. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go Barbell here. Let's then afterwards go with a Phoenix plus a Prediction E-Spirit for the Evil Bomber. Or is he not? Okay, looks like he's not going to Evil Bomber. I was definitely expecting Evil Bomber at the bridge there. Ah, he doesn't have the Evil Bomber. That's why he's not going to Evil Bomber if he doesn't have it, of course. Okay, let's then go with a Royal Giant here on the right side. Very nice uh, yeah, Royal Giant because the Little Prince is going to the left side. And then this is looking good, guys. Oh my god, I think we might have actually just won the game. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. But yeah, somehow everything just... Straight went to the tower on the right side, ended up getting so much damage, and we didn't even yeah, really need the Royal Giant. Um, as I said, I don't know at what point we just ended up switching the entire matchup. That was a very rough matchup for sure, because we do um, yeah, only have Fireball, plus a Barbell, and of course we don't have a reset for the Inferno Tower. The good thing about this deck, um, in that specific matchup, is that we just have so many things to be annoying. With the recruits, sometimes against, for example, Goblins, we can create some Royal Hawks, and of course the Royal Hawks are gonna be yeah, distracting the Inferno Tower. Well, we try to take care of it as soon as possible. Okay, hoping into the next match. Looks like this guy says, wow, let's give him a good luck. And let's see what he's going to be running. So he's screaming. Okay, let's see. Um, at this point, I guess we can just wait. Maybe Royal Giant. But I don't really like starting with Royal Giant. I think I'm just going to cycle a Barbell here. Why do I cycle it here? Because if I go with it offensively, it just instantly dies to the Dagger Dashes. Um, in this case, we force out a Lumberjack same lane. So we can go with Phoenix as well. 
Okay, so Lumberjack Yushi is gonna be some kind of balloon deck, I think. Could be something else, but I'm definitely thinking about balloon after seeing Arches plus Lumberjack. Uh, let's wait a little bit, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Recruits here in the back. I think it should maybe be also Recruits from him. Oh, looks like he has Bowler. Okay, Bowler, Archers plus Lumberjack. Is it just gonna be like a balloon deck, but like with Freeze, or what is this version? Okay, it's gonna be interesting to see what version he's running. Um, he also has the Evil Zep, good to know. We need to be careful with the Evil Zep because Evil Zep does kill the Mother Witch, just in case you guys didn't know that. And then look at the recruits on the right side. Okay, he goes with Nato, he used the Zep. I think we might be able to activate the King Tower here. Okay, I'm gonna go Fisherman like this. Not sure if it's able to activate the King Tower from there, to be honest. Uh, maybe it was one lower. Okay, we are able to activate, so that's nice. And then now we can go with a Royal Giant here at the bridge and prepare maybe a potential Fireball, even though I think he's just gonna go Lumberjack on top of the Mother Witch and everything. Oh, he just goes with Freeze. Okay, Freeze plus Lumberjack. I mean, that's a lot of Elixir, to be honest. I think we can try to distract the Lumberjack by just placing an E-Spirit and then afterwards already prepare the Recruits, um, yeah, like this, to be able to distract Inferno Dragon while the Dagger Dashes does its job. Um, or, well, at least tries to take care of it. Of course, whenever it doesn't have any um, ammo, any daggers, it is kind of not useless, but at the same time, it's not really the best tower troop. Okay, so we force out the bowler, we force out archers. That's nice, I guess, but at the same time, I'm kind of afraid of a good balloon push. Like, one good balloon push with a nice freeze, that's gonna be rough to deal with. We need to be very careful when we spend, for example, our phoenix, and the mother witch also, yeah, should be able to, in some situations, help out a little bit. Okay, let's go Fisherman like this. Let's then go with e -Spirit. Looks like he does go with a Balloon um, at the bridge. That was very aggressive, to be honest. I don't think that was the best Balloon by him. Let's go with Recruits here, and then let's see what he's gonna drop. I'm assuming he's soon gonna go maybe with Archers, maybe with Bowler, or maybe even both of them. Let's have the, yeah, let's have the Fireball ready. There you go. Very nice Fireball. We knew that it was potentially coming with the Archers as well. Okay, ooh, he spent the Inferno Dragon. Wait, what? His only cycle is like Lumberjack now. I think he's gonna go Lumberjack now. And then, wait, what? Okay, this guy's crazy. Is he just gonna tower trade? Like, he's gonna try and tower trade, but I don't think it's gonna tower trade, to be honest. We have the King Tower activated. Phoenix is gonna get a lot of damage. He does have the Freeze, but I mean, we have E-Spirit. We have stuff to distract it. Um, and this should be a good game for us. Let's wait a little bit. Let's then go with Fireball, and then the Fireball here. We'll be able to deal um, yeah, with the Inferno Dragon, just in case we also had the Mother Witch, but as you can see, that was not the best decision by him. I was like, wait, what? What is he doing? Is he really going to try and tower trade at this point? Um, yeah, I was 99% sure we would be able to not lose the tower, while the Royal Giant obviously is going to take the tower, especially against the Dagger Dashes. So we're 17-0 right now. Let's open to one more uh, one more match, guys, one more game, and then we will be able to end today's video. Looks like we're up against Akasa. Okay, this is actually a pro player. Well, not really a pro player. I think you can call it semi-pro. He's mainly a ladder player. Um, so let's see, let's go with E-Spirit here, and then I think we're gonna start off with the Royal Recruits, and I'm gonna prepare my Mother Witch as well. Okay, so Tombstone most of the times is gonna be Lava Hound. Could be something else, but I think, yeah, 9 of the 10 times it's gonna be Lava Hound. So Lava Hound plus Valkyrie. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting matchup. Royal Recruits um, are, I guess, a little bit annoying for him, but Valkyrie most of the times will be able to get a lot of value against them. The good thing is, if he doesn't have Inferno Dragon... Royal Giant should be quite hard uh, yeah, for him to defend, especially running the Dagger Dashes. So that's going to be interesting to see. I think I'm going to go Royal Giant here at the bridge to tank those Skelly Jacks. And then at the same time, see if he goes with, for example, does he have... Okay, he does have the Inferno Dragon. Ooh, this is going to be rough, guys. Against Inferno Dragon, I don't think it's a good matchup at all. If he would have had, for example, Mega Mian, I definitely think it would have... Uh, yeah, winnable. But now with the Inferno Dragon, I think this is going to be a rough one. Okay, let's see, though. We definitely need to uh, yeah, be confident here not uh yeah give up or anything of course if you face a difficult matchup it is gonna be difficult but at the same time it's never impossible okay let's go with evil recruits in the back let's see what he's gonna do i think he's gonna go with his balloon sometime soon already um yeah to create some pressure i'm gonna have the mother witch ready let's see what he's gonna do is he gonna go tombstone is he gonna go valkyrie okay looks like he goes with valkyrie i'm gonna go mother witch here and i'm gonna go phoenix to dps down this um yeah lava out okay nice situation that's gonna be quite a bit of damage on the left side actually he needs to zap that. And then we now have a good counter push with the Phoenix as well. So not looking bad at all, to be honest. Let's go with Royal Giant at the bridge here. If he goes with Inferno Dragon, I'm definitely going to go E-Spirit. If he doesn't, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, looks like he does go with uh, Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go Barbell here as well. And then afterwards, I'm going to go with E-Spirit. Not sure if it was the best E-Spirit. Probably would have uh, yeah, been better if I waited a little bit. But anyways, it's going to take down the tower. So that's good, I guess. The bad thing is, how are we going to defend the Lava Loom push right now? Okay, we need to go Mother Witch in the back. He's probably gonna go with, uh, yeah, Balloon sometime soon. Yeah, there you go. There's the Balloon. 
Okay, let's go Phoenix here. Let's go Fireball to hit the Lava Hound plus the Balloon. Then I'm just going to try and cycle back to the E-Spirit plus another Mother Witch. Okay, nice. This Mother Witch is going to get a lot of value without cycle his Fireball. So this Mother Witch should be able to get a lot of value on top of all the Lava Puffs while distracting and also killing the, um, the Skeleton Dragons. I'm even going to go Recruits. It's kind of, yeah, defensively in this case. Of course, the Recruits don't attack air, but at the same time, the Mother Witch is able to... Um, yeah, kill everything while the mother or the recruits is able to distract everything while the mother witch is taking care of them And then here he gave up. So let's go with Phoenix to kill the inferno dragon Let's go with barbell. Let's go with e-spirit and hopefully we can get the three crown Not sure if we have enough time, but three crown is definitely nice for the tiebreaker in the global tournament Not sure if we have enough time. I don't think so to be honest. No, unfortunately not a three crown still a very nice win streak in today's video um, I think we ended up winning four games. We're 18 and 0 in the double evolution tournament right now let me know if you guys would like to see like a last second push. Maybe we can try to go for the top. Of course, the top is still a lot of wins away. But right now, we're definitely not um, yeah, in a bad spot at all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.